Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Not a great big haul, um, but I like the items that I found. My faith is being restored because I was feeling a type of way, as I shared with the price increase, with having to go to five, six or more different locations to find good stuff. Um, the good stuff is coming close to me. Um, I do have an upcoming road trip Dollar Tree haul um, of a Dollar Tree Plus location that I found some wishlist finds, but that will be another video. So let's get into this haul. I'm going to start with Craft a Square. I keep buying this vinyl paper. No, I do not have a Cricut yet. I'm going to treat myself to one, but you can use these for other projects. I don't think you need a Cricut. So this is the faux leather um, vinyl paper. It's not, um, the other paper, I think they give you four feet. This is only 11.75 inches times 20 inches. So you don't get as much as the other, uh, rolls and it has a, uh, an order to it. So they had four different colors refer to the end store. I just got the black and the white. Again, at this point, I have no use for it yet, but you never know. Um, I'm so happy I found these push pins with the hooks. Um, in my last couple of videos in my glam area, I had string lights hanging. That string light is not long enough, but I bought some from Amazon that are 30 feet long. So I'll be able to do the whole from floor up. And these lights come with a remote and also they change colors so that's pretty cool so i'm going to use these push pins to hang those lights however i'm kind of bummed that they're black your girl is extra i'm going to paint them white so they kind of blend into the uh door molding yes i'm going to paint them white i don't have many to paint so it is what it is so you get 40 of them can you guys see the hook let me see if i could take one out for you so you could see it good this is a cool freaking concept. I wish they were clear. I wish they came in, you know, clear, not black. I don't want to stick myself. If I'm going to risk sticking myself, then I... <laughs> okay. So here's the push pen. And here's the hook that you can hang something. Isn't that like a cool idea? So I'm going to use these to hang the string lights, but I will be painting them, okay? So I was excited about that. Are we doing crafts? They've had these before, and I probably may have some in my craft cart. Um, wish they would have brought these out when they were still a dollar. I got two. You could put this on the glass and bling it out. You know those candle holders I'm getting from Bath & Body Works. I could really bling one out um personalize it the wallflowers or whatever like that so um even the wallflowers so i'm really excited to add those to my craft cart but i did buy these before i'm not sure if i used them on a project i might have um so here's more something else that i found but i only found one pack i think or maybe two packs and i said wow it'd be great to have more these bling stickers. I love to keep bling on hand. I did use these to bling out the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. Um, it's always good to keep bling stickers in your craft cart. You never know. So I always get them. Something that's new are these iron-on transfers. They've had different ones before. Um, they've had iron-on patches, but I don't remember them having iron-on bling like this i mean look how cool this is so this is the tiger and look he has the diamond eyes really really nice um it shows you on the back what it would look like if you put it on a shirt how cool is this so i got two of these and here is the heart they had four different ones please refer to the in-store um here's the heart i got two hearts so i got two and two that would be nice to put on a jean jacket um i thought that would be really nice so i did get that 
And I believe that's all the craft items. In the pet section, I just got this one cute little duck for Parker. He loves squeaker toys, so he'll be happy with that. Randomly, when you first walk in the store, my favorite store that's across the street that uh, the manager told me it should be a Dollar Tree Plus location in two months. So I'm really excited about that. Um, even though I have a new reason to go to the outlets uh, for Bath and Body Works, but I'm excited that I'll have a Dollar Tree Plus. And not only that one, the one down the street, the first Dollar Tree I went to in Greenville, which actually used to be a very nice store, but it's kind of went downhill that is going to be a Dollar Tree Plus. So I'm going to have two Dollar Tree Plus, one across the street and one less than five minutes away. Um, but randomly, I've seen Breaking 2. So I thought this was a remake, but it's not. It's This is the original Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. Who remembers this movie? I've seen this in Dollar Tree and I didn't get it because I said, well, I don't have a VCR. This is a DVD. Then I remembered after I left, I was like, that's a DVD. Duh. I'm thinking that I can't get it because it's a VCR tape. I'm saying, who has VCRs anymore? Okay, can you tell my mind has been other places? Okay. So that was just random. Real quick food. Something that I picked up. I've seen this online and I just found it today. This is from Pioneer. I've never heard of them before. But this is Country Gravy. It makes two cups. And this is also a brown gravy mix, makes two cups. And I like that the food, some food items are still a dollar because I was saying to myself, who's going to buy canned goods from Dollar Tree for $1.25 when you can go to Aldi's, Lidl, Walmart. I have gotten canned goods for Walmart for like 50 cents. Their brand now, great value. But still the, the store brands are what, 98 cents. So they kept them at a dollar. The candy in the movie, uh, well, I say the movie candy because if you're smart, before you go to the movie theater and pay $5 for a box of Raisinets, you'll stop at Dollar Tree. They kept that at one twenty-five, but the candy at the register is still a dollar. So I was, you know, I'm happy about that though. Um, but still, I don't think buying food from Dollar Tree, like canned goods, is a good deal. It's not. Not all food. I think the tuna fish is still $1.25. That's not a good deal, y'all. Um, you have to be smart. Like I told you, the water, in my opinion. Toilet tissue, I stopped buying from there. Paper towels, I stopped buying from there. Um, yeah. And if you watched my video I did last week, I... I at a request, I did a dollar dollar general uh, dollar walkthrough, and they have a lot of the cleaning products that Dollar Tree has for still a dollar. So that's up to you. Something that I hold, um, and this is my second time purchasing it, and I really honestly don't think this is a big deal. I like it because uh, it's enough for this household. Um, Mr. Fuller bought me a waffle maker, and it made eight mini heart-shaped waffles, this one pack. And you can add one egg, three quarters cup milk or water. And I think I didn't have milk. I used water and it came out fine. The waffles were good. Um, so um, yeah, I got another bag of that. Because if, if you make a big batch, it's gonna go to waste. It's only the two of us here. And this is just a repurchase. I feel like this is a bigger bag than when things were just a dollar. I don't know. It could be the same size bag, but I feel like this is a bigger bag, and I do think this is worth $1.25. These are the Snyder's braided pretzel twists. Um, something random. Haven't seen these in a while. The candy, the candle snuffers, and now that I am stocking up on candles, and I have more candles now, which I don't always burn, so I don't even know why I'm going crazy for candles, which... I don't even burn them that much, but sometimes I want to. Um, so instead of the blowing them out, this is a candle. I'm going to call it a candle snuffer, and that's what they're calling it, a candle snuffer from Luminescence. There are other colors. I'm not sure if I have this on the in-store footage. I think I do. Um, so I went with the gold, of course, glamorous gold. And beauty, not much. I did pick up this. Eyebrow Pencil Dark Brown from BE. The lippy that I'm wearing, this matte lippy is from BE and I actually love it. 
Um, I absolutely love it. Now, when you start eating and drinking, it doesn't last long, but I just think it's great. It's matte. That's what I love. So this is their dark brown eyebrow pencil. I think I might have tried it before, or maybe it was their eyebrow gel, or they had like an eyebrow kit they came out with. And if you went like this, your eyebrows came off. So I'm going to give them another chance and see if that's the case. Um, something that I have been looking for for a long time. This is not new to Dollar Tree. It's new to the Dollar Tree near me. Um, it's this silicone um, cleansing brush, battery operated. Um, they also did have the facial massagers, but I've hauled them in New York. This is this is new to Dollar Tree recently. When I say that, I, I would say it's been out for a couple of months. They didn't have this last year. Last year, they came out with those facial massagers. I hold quite a few of them. Um, I think I gave some away. I wasn't impressed with that. I don't see the point of it, to be honest with you. But um, I'm hearing good things about this. And I think this is the only color. I don't think I had this on the in-store footage because I went, I fell asleep when I woke up. It was late, so they were about to close, so... Um, this is a repurchase. I actually bought this and gave this to my mom. She likes it. This is the Modeste Antibacterial Skin Cream. So I picked up um, five tubes for her. So I'm just sharing with you. Um, gave them to her already and I seen this one. Um, I don't know how long these products are going to be around, but I'm still seeing them. And this is something I wish I would have found Christmas. This is the Yard... Uh, cleansing cloths you get 18 this is enriched with aloe vera chamomile and vitamin e disposable um i don't think you can flush these let me see the smell because i didn't even they smell nice it's not overly fragrant but they do smell nice um i hope they're not dry you know, but uh, yeah, you get 18 large washcloths, 12 by 8. So that's a big size. I would have definitely put these with the yard weight uh, little gift things that I made. Um, moving on, just a random find is from Jot, this pen holder. And I think it's like a Lazy Susan. I think it spins. Hold on. I don't know. Maybe when I take this sticker off. It will spin. The only other color I seen was white. And um, I got gray because gray matches our bedroom. I'm just taking the label off. I just want to see if it spins. Yes, it does spin, guys. It does spin. So this is pretty cute. Not bad. It has little slots. You can put paper clips, whatever like that. Uh, so this is for Mr. Fuller to put on. He can put it on his desk. All right, we are winding down. I found the black garbage can in my last Dollar Tree haul. I hauled the one and it had the yellow. I didn't like that. So I found more. Um, I don't know if I have it on in store, but I think they had red, yellow, black, and I don't know if they had green. Like Head green northeast green. toward Cherry Court. I ain't going to the outlets, y'all. That's my GPS. Um... <laughs> I wanted to see how long it would take me to go to the outlets now. Um, your girl is crazy. I want to get some more of that brown sugar and fig, but most likely I'm going early next week, Monday, Tuesday-ish. I'm hoping it is there. Um, yeah, but that's... Shut up, GPS. Tell them on me. You know who, you know who else tells on me? Parker Poo. When Mr. Full is sleeping and I go to the store, I leave the house. Here he is, because I told you his spot is at the top of the stairs. When I come in, he'll bark and go crazy like I'm a stranger breaking in the house. And uh, yeah, he's a little rat himself. Moving on. I told you guys how I love Dollar Tree masks for decor. And I have a few of them in my glam area. But I have never seen these before. Look how pretty this gold and black mask is. Isn't that sexy? I think it's great. I'm going to use this for home decor. And I'm going to put a hot pink rose on the side of the mask. I just love their mask and their fans. Great home decor. Cheap. Put it on the wall. They look beautiful. All right. We are finished with everything that's non-Valentine's Day. So I got this pail. 
nothing exciting. Dollar Tree has them every year, but I want to make a um, fruit bouquet with this. Um, I will attach a picture of my inspiration from Edible Arrangements. This is not my original idea. I'm going to give credit to where credit's due. This is inspired by Edible Arrangements. I find Edible Arrangements to be a little bit overpriced. I'm not taking away from their work. I know fruit is not cheap. You know, I love the way they carve the fruits into shapes and stuff like that. I don't know if there's one down here, but I'm just going to do um, some chocolate dipped strawberries, maybe some pineapple, you know, spears. I, I can't carve shapes. I'm not even going to try. It's not that I can. I probably could if I tried or learned, um, but I'm just going to do different kind of fruit. Um, kebabs with grapes, cantaloupe, you know what I mean. Um, I didn't get the styrofoam from Dollar Tree because I don't know if it was going to be tall enough for this. Um, I was going to see, because I still have some time, if I can um, find something that's a little bit taller. Um, yeah, so then I got to think, what am I going to put in it besides fruit? Um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on for Valentine's Day, and I'm going to wrap it with cellophane, so I'm going to try it. It'll be my first time doing it, um, but I seen a commercial for edible arrangements, and I wanted to, I was making chocolate-covered strawberries for this person anyway, but um, I thought that'd be a good idea to make a fruit bouquet, so I'm going to try it. Okay, so that's why I got this pail. Um, this is the only one that I've seen randomly, but I, I know that they had different varieties. Um, something else that I did not expect to come my way, just because that's how it is sometimes, this block sign, and I don't need any more Valentine's Day decor. I really don't know why I got it, but I did. This one says loads of love and refer to the end store because there are more. I like the way this time they finally finished it. Sometimes they leave the sides that color and it just doesn't look complete or done. So I guess with the price increase, they bought paint and they uh, are able to do this because I'm seeing this on more than this sign. Um, so I'm happy about that. So those those were cute. I got the one with the truck that I know I said I'm tired of. Um, I thought these were cute and I wasn't gonna get them because I found the mini houses at Dollar General. But this is not a bad size and they had I think three different ones. And this is the one I chose. Home is wherever I'm with you. So I couldn't leave this behind. Um, this is something that I am going to use in the babe cave. I'm running out of space, but I'm going to make space for it, but I'm going to change the ribbon. I'm going to put some gold ribbon to hang the sign. To me, this is like beautiful and it could be all year round. This is XOXO. Okay. It might not look pink, but this is pink. Okay. Um, it is pink, a sparkly pink glitter with the pink, white, and gray striped background and with a gold um, ribbon, it's gonna look different. So that's going in the babe cave. And I can't believe, I wasn't gonna get any, I, I really wasn't. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't believe I got one of these gnomes. Okay, you see on the end store, the red sparkly one could be used for Christmas. This also could be used for Easter. Um, to be honest with you, um, you could put like a bunny pick, um, I don't know, like it's holding a bunny pick, put some eggs around it. It's a pastel color. You know what I mean? I think this could be used for Easter, but that red sparkly one, if you buy it, you also can use that and put it out Christmas time. No one would ever know. They also had the one with the heart hats and why I didn't get them is because the red is faded. I know it's just the little things that stick out to me, but they are cute and I brought it home. I don't know. It had to be the pink that did it for me. It had to be the pink. I, that's the only thing I could think of because I got to store all this stuff. Could give it as a gift. Um, a mess. Something else that I did not expect to come my way were the Valentine's Day mats. And this is the one that I chose. This was very, I'm gonna put this in front of my um, oven. Um, to me, they have done a better job at the backing. It doesn't seem that it'll be as slippery 
You might have to put down a carpet gripper underneath it. Um, if it's sliding around, I'll see if I need to do that. But this feels like they did a better job with the backing so it won't be sliding all over the place. And this was my favorite one. Please refer to the in-store if you've never seen these before um, and you want to see what the other ones look like. But that is the one I chose. This is my haul. And I'm happy with it. Um, like I said, I have, I was ready to like, you know what? I'm over Dollar Tree, you know? And, and I could say, I definitely know that I have taken a step back because I made several stops last week into Dollar Tree and walked out empty handed. Um, normally a day off, my goal and objective would be to Dollar Tree hop. But honey, I got bigger and better things on my mind. So I haven't, and I'm okay. Um, I went into Dollar Tree last night and I found some things. So I'm, it's no pressure. I'm going in with no expectation. Um, there are things on the wish list, but if I find them, I find them. I'm not, I'm not driving myself crazy. Okay. It is what it is. There are other stores that I can go in and get a sure thing, you know, um, and better quality things. So it's, it's, don't get me wrong. That's still my store. But, you know, I've taken a step back a little bit, I feel, um, since the increase. Um, yeah. Also, I am very much involved <laughs> in another store. Um, so that has taken a lot of my time and my attention. Speaking of which, I have a Bath and Body Works haul coming Still got to do that damn uh, heart wreath, Valentine's Day wreath. I just, I got to, I got to come up with a, a concept. Like I said, I see other YouTube videos, but I want it to be my own. Um, and when I do crafts and I see somebody do something, I will say I got this idea from another YouTuber. Um, you know, I'm, I feel I'm creative, but I can learn from other people still. Um, yeah. And other people can learn from me. People copy off of me all the time. And, you know, I'm glad I could help you. Um, but that's it. That's my haul. I will see you guys soon. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my existing subscribers, thanks for coming back. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on IG at Dollar Tree Queen 76. Um, stay tuned if you're enjoying Bath and Body Works because I have another video coming. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.